How are we doing everyone? Hope all is well. Stefan here with All Omega Print Supply. And if you're watching this video, you've probably heard about the latest direct to garment printer from Epson coming out very soon, the F2270. We just wrapped up an awesome webinar on site at location in Epson headquarters. And we didn't want to just read you the brochure, post up an animated rendering of the machine. So next time you do see we have a live presentation coming up, make sure you sign up. It'll make sure you get first access to more digestible formats such as this, but if you have the time, really take it in the live webinar is gonna be the best way to get the full experience, the live Q&A, and really see the full breakdown of everything we bring to the presentation. My first impression of the machine was by far this updated, sleek, low profile, flat top design. Immediately I'm seeing a much smaller physical footprint which will give you, the end user, much more versatility as far as arranging your workspace. Additionally, because it is a smaller factor form, we'll be looking at less packaging materials. This highlights the sustainability and go green efforts of Epson by reducing the waste from unnecessary components in your delivery package. Now, if you notice on the top portion here, the angle may not show it exactly, but we're looking at a much more visible screen as far as the lid to see the actual printing. We see so many times direct to printers running their machine full production with that top lid open. And while the printhead action going back and forth, laying down the white underbase, brilliant CMY kit colors on top is really nice to see. You gotta remember, if these machines are in print shops, there's gonna be exposure, things like fibers, dust, debris, all sorts of things that can get into your capping station, into your ink lines, into your printhead. Now with this increased visibility and illuminated LED backlighting, you can see clearly all the different color layers, all your garments coming out and being produced without having to open the machine. I was definitely taken surprised by the oversized 4.3 inch user-friendly touchscreen, which will make operation much quicker and easier. They have outdated this new touchscreen with lots of more information. You'll be able to see what sort of media you're printing on. You'll have a visual representation of the graphic that's being produced. You're also gonna have your platen height information, what size you're printing on, and other key useful information such as humidity and temperature. Now the updates weren't purely cosmetic. It wasn't just a razzle dazzle new body. There's also loads of innovative user-friendly features to make production even easier. One of the key points that stood out to me was gonna be the print head carriage auto height adjustment or garment thickness optimization. What this is gonna do is utilizing sensors in the machine, it's gonna create a profile based on the thickness of what it is you're printing. Think of it as like an autofocus for your printer. It's gonna create a profile of the highest and lowest points of whatever's loaded. If it's a sheet of film, a ring spun cotton t-shirt, or maybe a pullover hooded sweatshirt, and it's gonna find the optimum distance and the printhead carriage holding the micro TFP printhead will physically raise or lower to give you the optimum distance. Now speaking of that micro TFP printhead, we are looking at a larger surface area for the actual component in the machine. So with this increased size, we're gonna see a noticeable increase if you're printing your CMYK prints, which is gonna be up to 25% faster, as well as increased print speed on your dark garments and your DT film. Now, this printhead was formulated with the new updated ink system in mind. Now, it's gonna be not just the cartridges that are updated, you're gonna have a larger ink delivery package, 800 millimeter pouches. Now, these pouches, we like to look at these as kind of a hybrid, the best of both worlds combining bulk ink and cartridge. Now with bulking systems, you do get the added benefit of more ink capacity per color. But in many times, the machines that utilize bulk ink, you're physically pouring in these different colors, meaning you're opening up these lid tops and again, exposing to what did we say? Fibers, dust, dirt, and debris. So utilizing the pouch system, you get the benefit of more ink per color. However, you're gonna have the hybrid functionality of cartridge staple, microchip, and filtration. And these chips are great. They're gonna be communicating with your printer to let you know how much ink you have remaining, and they're really solid about getting really every last drop out of these pouches. Now, we didn't wanna just talk and tell you about the ink. We know you want to see it print. So for our first demonstration, we chose a black garment. Now, the reason being, with black being at the opposite end of the color spectrum, you're gonna need a solid white base and then high detail, high resolution ink on top for your CMYK coloring. And in no time at all, we have produced a brilliant and vivid artwork provided by Epson, thank you so much for that, and it came out flawless. The detail on here, again, the vibrancy, the boldness, it printed so fast and so clean, and it's all gotta be thanks to that new DG2 ink that's powering this printer. Next, we switch over to direct-to-film. We had no platen height adjustment, simply place the film on top, and thanks to the new Garment Creator 2 RIP software, the seamless integration of the hybrid printing from DTG to DTF was literally just at the click of the mouse. We 
got that printed up in pretty record-breaking time from my understanding, especially for a print of that size, and everything was fluid. After we got our director film transfer printed, we head over to the director film area they have in their workspace, and it's outfitted with DTF station equipments and supplies. The Seismo S20 took care of all of my powdering and all of my shaking. And the curing oven, the Phoenix Air, really took care of the curing in a consistent and even fashion. Now one thing we love about technology, it's getting smaller and more efficient. As you can see, the entire workflow for a hybrid DTG DTF setup all fit on one table. You have your printer on another table, your heat press is stamping your transfers. This is an ideal workflow situation for the hybrid model. And if you are doing print on demand, or if you're offering direct to garment already, there's no reason to bring in direct to film. You're already halfway there. And in accessories like this, you're gonna have a streamlined process. And again, leave your heat press free to press heat. And speaking of direct to film, it's been so great to see Epson really embrace the wave of what DTF is and what it can do. And this is greatly apparent in the Garmin Creator 2 RIP software. And with that platen height adjustment, I can have a shirt printing in one moment, throw my film onto the next, and then with a simple click of the mouse, I can toggle from that white shirt, the dark shirt, the black shirt, or to a direct-to-film print. Now it is worth mentioning, this updated RIP software will be applicable for the Epson F2270, as well as the Epson F3070 currently in distribution. Now those weren't the only new features they threw into Garmin Creator 2. Now as far as performance-wise, Garmin Creator 2 is fast. We're gonna be looking at a noticeable increase as far as data transmission from your printer to your computer. And we've all seen an increase in the upload resolution at a whopping 600 DPI. Now one of my favorite features that stood out was gonna be the increased attention to detail. And this will be especially apparent with fine lettering and fine line work. Epson's really great about providing the right solution for the right business. And if you're a busy print shop with an established customer base who's printing lots of different designs for lots of different customers and looking to do this in a user-friendly, less labor-intensive fashion, the Epson F2270 is gonna be perfect. You already know Epson's known for the best direct-to-garment printing on your mostly cotton blends, and with the DTF integrated functionality, you'll be able to cover everything. Shoes, jackets, outerwear, bags. I mean, if you guys are on the YouTube channel, there's no shortage of inspiration for what DTF can do. And thanks to all the user-friendly functionality that Epson's thrown into this, again, the seamless transition from DTG to DTF is gonna be the click of a button. At the end of the presentation, we did have a chance to go through all the Q&As that have been coming in during the 30-minute broadcast. There's a lot of information, and again, you guys really wanna sign up for these to get the full experience. Now, a couple of the questions that really stood out that I remember was gonna be the ink formulation and the new pouch system. Now, the inspiration behind this was to give you increased sharpness. If you guys print DTG, there may be times, maybe perhaps in your pre-treating, the artwork, or the garment, where you see sometimes colors like yellow and black sort of bleeding into each other. This increased formulation and higher resolution output should give you that sharp crispness that you design. Now, another question I stood out was gonna be the maintenance. Epson's known for being one of the most user-friendly attention and cleaning machines on the market today. Now, as far as what this machine will need attention-wise on a daily basis, you're gonna have that same friendly reminder to agitate your whiting pouches, and then at the end of the day when you power off, the inline cleaning solution pouch is gonna take care of most of the heavy lifting internally. It's one of the reasons that these machines are the lowest manual user cleaning machines on the market today. We know sometimes webinars can be during very busy parts of the day. That's why it's still very important for you to sign up. We wanted to make this video in a more digestible format, so you could take that 10, 15 minute break and get all the important information. And because you signed up, you'll always be the first to get this special info. Now to get the full experience, again, you really do wanna be there live. See the whole thing A to Z, all the demonstrations, and participate in the Q&A. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We know there's gonna be questions on the F2270. Go ahead and drop those down below. Make sure you guys subscribe, tap that post notification bell. My name is Esteban, we're all Mega Print Supply. See you on the next one.